So okay, hi guys. Um, once again, it's James here, and um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a shiny metal or uh, an iron texture uh, in Blender. So the first thing that you're gonna have to do here is um, hit hex on the right-click on the box in the middle and hit either the hex button or the del button the DEL button or the X button and delete this okay so so the next thing we're gonna have to do is go up at the left hand corner on the tab that says add and click drop that down and go to mesh if you're going to mesh then you're gonna have to click on plane after doing that then we are going to have to expand this a little bit so the first thing I'm gonna have to do is um, go right here on some of the tabs that says uh, um, transform scale and all that and click on this one right here okay and click on that then you move the red button to scale it forward and the green button to scale it forward okay to, to scale it to the side okay so after doing that then we're gonna have to give this a color okay so on the right hand side of blender then you're gonna have to click on um, yeah let's expand this a little bit um, I'm probably gonna have to click on this uh, it says world no it's not world actually uh, material tab then you're gonna have to click new have to click new you can have to click diffuse after that uh, and probably have to like maybe change the color to some let's do yellow then that's it okay so after that is done then you can have to go back to the left and tab at the upper right left of blender you have to click mesh again you have to click plane then right now all we gotta do is rotate this to have a background this is supposed to be a flat surface the yellow one is supposed to be a flat surface and the other one is supposed to be uh, like a background or something okay so to change your um, views perspective or the graphical um, all you have to do is make use of your non keypads what do I mean by num keypads? Those are the keys at the right hand side of your keyboard. If you don't have those, you're probably gonna have to get an extra keyboard. So I would recommend you guys to click on one to go to this view. Then what we're gonna have to do right now is rotate this. Okay, so go down here to the curve tab and rotate. Um gonna have to rotate, yeah. Hold on for a second. Oh uh, yeah, the problem is the green. Yeah, you have to rotate that. Okay, okay. So hit the one button again, and as you can see, it's almost uh, the way. It's almost you know getting really good shape again. Yeah. There's another way you could do this, but um, you know, just because you guys are beginners. Feel like this is the best way to do this okay so after doing that then once again to rotate you click on your mouse wheel and rotate yeah so then we're gonna have to go back to this uh, to, to the scale tab at the lower uh, left middle left of blender you click on this then you're gonna have to expand this a little bit the same thing applies here yeah. yeah it doesn't really matter if it overlaps like you know happens like it doesn't really matter all we're trying to do is to get the background um, a light reflection you know and um, and the transparency of the object that you're trying to uh, make okay okay so the next thing we're gonna have to do is um, move this light downward a little bit and all you got to do is go to the lower left of blender and 
click on that to move it down a little bit okay so after doing that then we're gonna have to test all we've got so far by hitting the zero button on the nom key hit the zero button and see what it looks like okay it's looking good so far then the next one we're gonna have to do is um, hit the F12 F12 button in most cases you probably gonna have to hit your F and button the F and button plus the F12 button so all the F and button and click the F12 button or vice versa just in most cases you you don't really have to do that so yeah so to get out of this hit the he SC button escape button okay so after that is done then the next we're gonna have to do is get our object okay there's so many things you can use you know to make this happen but um I would recommend you guys to take advantage of some of the uh, mesh uh, button going on around here. Hold on for a second, please. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, I apologize. Okay, so the next thing you're going to have to do is I would recommend you guys to choose the uh, isosphere on the uh, mesh tab that, that should work okay so after doing that then you are going to um, you know what let's not use the isotope let's use something else like um, let's X this out yeah delete okay um, excuse me it's good. Mesh. Um, um, I wouldn't recommend you guys to choose. Uh, I yeah, cylinder. I haven't tried cylinder before, but you know, for this tutorial, um, uh, let's choose cylinder. Okay. The cylinder looks um, a little, little bit reasonable, okay? So, what we're gonna have to do right now is um, we're gonna have to rotate the cylinder, okay? So, we go down here, uh, click the rotate button, and rotate this. Rotate, okay? Yeah. Um, and after doing that, then we're gonna have to scale it, expand this by scaling it. Okay, okay. So that actually looks pretty nice for now. Um, let's let's scale the upper lower. Yeah, yeah, okay. And that looks pretty nice. And let's see what it looks like when we uh, hit the FN and do that. Hmm, it's looking pretty well for a uh, metal. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna have to do right now is um, give it a color. A color, okay, so on the earth tab, I want you guys to notice that anytime you have a new object, um, if the tab on the left hand corner is on the, um, is in a specific tab, then the same thing applies to the next uh, mesh or something you use. So the next thing you're gonna have to do is click new at the right hand corner, and you're gonna have to on the diffuse tab click on that, and probably gonna have to tweak the color a little bit. In this case, what we're trying to get is the metal texture, and you're gonna have to scroll down a little bit to get the perfect texture for the iron. Okay, just have to do that and. Let's see what it looks like when we um, do that. Mm, I think it looks pretty good for now. Okay. Um, then we're probably gonna have to click out of that. Okay. Um, you can also change the background uh, image. And once again, to click, it's right. It's you right click on them to change. So you hit new. Uh, you hit this. Um, you hit. Um, yeah, the color button, and um, let's say this is light blue. Okay, light blue. Okay, so click out of that, and um, 
Okay, so let's get to business. So the next thing you're gonna have to do is right click on the object that we're trying to make and you guys are going to have to scroll down to a tab that says mirror. And by the way, I'm using Blender 2.68A if I am wrong. Okay, so you're gonna have to click on this. One of the mis one of the uh, one of the common mistakes made by most people is that they forget to click on the mirror, and sometimes it just just doesn't work as they want want it to. Okay, so after clicking on the mirror, then you're gonna have to expand this um, reflectivity tab. Okay, so in order to get that done, I'll advise you to click on this, hold it, and drag it forward. And your mouse will drag it forward all the way to the end. After doing that, and um, I would recommend you to uh, bring the the blend tab backward a little bit. Okay. Okay. So after doing, so now let's see what it looks like so far. After doing that, as you can see, we got the transparency of what a uh, it metal would look like. But this is not what we want it to look like. So the next thing we're gonna have to do is go up here and change the the Lambert uh, button to Orinair. So click on the Orinair. Click on it. Okay. So when you click on Orinair, uh, it automatically changes to a metal type of shape. Okay. So one thing I want you guys to observe is um, this object right here because every single changes you make down here or to any tab will affect the look and um, the texture of this object right here okay so the next thing that we're gonna have to observe is the blend let's see what happens if we move the blend board just a bit as you guys can see, there isn't any changes going on when we do that, but um, yeah, it's always recommended to move this back um, to that position. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is we do this um, uh, re render by hitting the half tool button or the FN plus F12 button again to see what it looks like. There isn't much changes going on, but as time goes on we might want to change the color of that so if you guys will scroll down a little bit to the mirror and probably gonna have to scroll down a little bit okay just to have the sense of uh, a solid metal okay so to doing solid metal so uh, click out of that and let's see what it looks like this time render yeah, yeah all we have to do is just keep observing keep observing keep observing if that doesn't really seem comfortable enough then we're probably gonna have to um, move move the intensity all the way forward and uh, change the color back to this yeah but this right here um, yep okay that's good looks pretty good then we'll try it again and let's see what it looks like I think it actually looks pretty nice yeah because as you guys can see uh, the um, yeah the the light bounces up the ground and shines on it and as you guys can see that the uh, the green lights um, also reflects on the on the metal and it looks pretty shiny the way it is right now and there's so many things you can do to this you can add a texture to it um, uh, and um, you know and all those kind of interesting uh, things that you could uh, add to make it look more realistic you can change the um, uh, the uh, what's it called? Um, the values and everything. Yeah. So yeah, this is going to be my first part of how to make a metal 
um, or an iron texture, shiny metal iron texture in Blender. And I hope you guys will follow me in the next tutorial as I teach you how to implement more um, uh, textures and all those kind of things to make the the metal look more realistic. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you will watch my next video. Thank you.